Good morning, welcome to Wakefield. Although it's a bit wintry in Wakefield this morning. Good morning, good morning. Good morning, with a bit of luck, the rain will hold off. We have Robbie. Hello, Robbie. Robbie's Hello. here to help us out with Michael and Deborah because they're both profoundly deaf. And Michael's surprising Deborah. Hi, Emma. Morning, hi, Emma. Hello, Michael. Nice to meet you. And this is Hello. Tris. Hello, Charlie. So, where's Hello. the garden then? It's on the roof, what oh. do you think? <laughs> <laughs> I think it's out uh, here through this big gate, look. <laughs> Well, bits are nice. Lawn's in good order. Yeah. The uh, rockery's a bit rough on the right, isn't it? <laughs> right, who are we surprising, by the way? My wife, Deborah. She's gone to a health spa. So she obviously doesn't know anything about this. We've, um, we've kept it secret from for about six months. <gasps> Has that been difficult? So it's great that you finally hear because it's been <laughs> difficult to keep a secret. So has she not wanted you to do the garden or anything? <laughs> that's, that's, that's they said many too. words. <laughs> oh, she's been on at me forever to get the garden sorted out. She's been asking me when I will get it sorted out. And I keep giving her excuses and putting it off and putting it off. Um, she actually came back home the other day with black bags and she gave them to me and told me to tidy up so oh. <laughs> I had to do a little bit but I did just just a little bit. Well, we've seen a sneak video of haven't we? Yeah we caught the, the researchers caught up with you and Deborah and the children at a house. Harwood House. Harwood House. Although Deborah and Michael communicate in sign language, they both lip read, so had no trouble understanding our researcher. And with Deborah's mum oh, Tris right, there, yeah, she the found plenty for them to talk Come about, to the house, like well, the time they got marooned out on the That's lake. Isn't it? I find it relaxing. Yeah, I yeah. Yeah, we all feel yeah. relaxing. Yeah. 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 The boat. Yeah. Remember? Yeah. Remember yeah. about the boat? Yeah. What happened on the boat? Yeah, down. Yeah. Yeah. down. When in the middle of the lake, it broke down. <laughs> what, the boat did? Yeah. So we had to get these men to hold out. Jack was a baby. You were at asleep. <laughs> Looking after him, you were asleep. We were stuck in the water. Yeah. About uh, <laughs> more than half an hour. About half an hour. About five minutes. Excellent. All right. Well, thank you very much. Do you want to have a look at the plan? Yes, let's see. Let's You're see. Excited, I'm excited about you seeing your plan, yes. Right. Well, basically, we know that, is it Deborah's dad is in a wheelchair? Yes, that's my husband. Right. Disabled. And so the access is a bit difficult for him. Yes. So we've got the patio doors there. So we're going to put a deck coming off so he can come straight out the doors and go across this onto the garden. Good. And then because of the children, how old are Holly and Jack? Holly's uh, nine and Jack's six. Right, so lots of space for them. We're going to keep your lawn because it's in really good nick. And then basically we're going to make some more seating areas. So we've got, you know, this is going to be paving running up to a patio area. There's sort of a, a ramp going up to give you, to, to raise up to these areas of paving up here. And then we've got a water feature there that's child friendly, so it's literally a rock with bubbling over. Now also along over here it looks a bit narrow the width of this path so we're going to take down the wall and push it over a little bit and then we're going to put a retaining wall in railway sleepers and redo these steps here in railway sleepers and paving. Oh that sounds good. And then I mean we hear that you guys are a bit of party animals and you like being out in the evenings so we thought lighting might be handy for when you're lit reading. And before you say it, this bit of cheese up here is not. It's football, so you can kick it through the hole. So we're going to test Tommy's skills out. Now, Deborah has a bit of a problem with bees and wasps and things. Yes, she's quite phobic about it, actually. OK, yeah. so all yeah. the plants yeah. we've got are very... They're not very flowery, so that won't encourage them. They're going to be evergreens and variegated. So all the interest is going to be in the foliage rather than encouraging bees and wasps and... That's good. That's good. So what do you think? Well, gosh, it looks quite challenging, doesn't it? There's a lot to do, but yeah. it looks fantastic. Mm. And how are you gardening? Are you um, kind of ready to get stuck <laughs> no, in? No, you! Yeah. You! <laughs> 
I haven't had time to think about myself. Um, but yeah, go on then. Right, Let's and how about you, Robbie? Yes, I'm definitely up for it. Oh, and we got that on camera. <laughs> Fabulous. <All right. laughs> we got lots of help here, Tommy. Have we? Well, yes. Now, who's who? Introduce me, please. My name's Stuart. Stuart. Hello, Stuart. I'm oh, you're used to hard work. Simon. Simon. Hello, Simon. Simon. Stuart. You're not. <laughs> Wayne. My name's Wayne. Wayne. Stuart. You're used to some work. Oh, no, no, no. My name's Nigel. You're not. Okay, boys. Here we go. Off to work we go. <laughs> Right, this, this is a first. Tommy's come up with this idea now that he wants an outer ring framework of deck, an inset of sets, and then another ring, an inner frame, and infilled with deck and the normal deck, which is all a bit complicated. So yeah, th these docks, they've got great big long tap root, yeah. and if you leave a little bit in, it just regrows, so. Um. Michael, do you work? Yeah, I work with them. Um, deaf children. Oh, how old, how old are they? Nursery. Oh, sweet. Nursery, yeah. Three, four and five. And what, you teach them to sign? Sign language, yeah. Um, both language, sign and okay. yeah, child, but the sign language. Right. Just sign, yeah, it's good. Right. Yeah. They must learn really quickly. Yeah, yeah, yeah they learn it, yeah. But and have you been deaf since you yeah, were... Yeah, I was born deaf, born yeah. Deaf. And Deborah? Deborah was born deaf. As well? Yeah. So, yeah. you're still very easy to understand, though. Yeah, it's hard, it's hard. I feel like they do. Right. But I like Simon. Simon's better. You're right. Yeah, I like Simon. So you... Yeah? <laughs> Tommy, Tommy's wife... Yeah. She signs. Yeah. Tommy knows one Double sign as well. Well, she taught me a couple of things. One of them is, um, it goes like this. <laughs> and that's Silly Billy. I don't know what she meant because my name's Tommy, so it couldn't mean possibly refer to me. <laughs> Now, I thought you might want an explanation of what this is. It's not noughts and crosses. We've marked out the whole job. This area here, which is the first marking out area, is the decking. That's going to cut into the lawn. Then we're going to go from the decking with a slight ramp here. And this is going to be paving that goes along here to form a path. And then we've got the two main paved areas. That one cuts into this one, which is another level. And down here, we have... Charlie's water feature and you see W4 water feature and the rest of this area which is grass that's going to be left as it is tree in the corner right now we're ready to strip this out which of course rubs out on my lines but we've got the measurements We had a cunning plan. Rather than move all the soil out, we thought we'll make some raised beds. We're going off the cunning plan now. One second. <laughs> Hold on. Whoop. Hey, hey. Hey, easy. <laughs> I want to get a splinter there. Right. <laughs> Here we go. Down. Onto those pads. And this one? It's the one he wants. Yes. Uh, right then. We need these lights then. One about there. Right. 
and one on the other side to mirror it, because that's either side of the deck. Fine. It's the electrician, by the way, helping us out. And there's a pump. He doesn't know that yet. He thinks he's only doing the lights. <laughs> I think that way, like that, and that one curving in as well. Oh no! Hello, who's this? Hello, Holly. Hello. 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 How was school? Okay. Good. Now your dad, you said you can sign. A bit. A bit. I've learned to say. Silly Billy. <laughs> <laughs> in order to create wheelchair access for this garden, we've dug this down and we'll come out onto here. Now this has to be a flat landing area to allow it to turn the wheelchair. Then because there's a slight gradient, uphill up the ramp to this area here, which has to be level, then it's a turning point. You with me so far? Now we cut this out a slight gradient up here onto this patio area here and then it'll either be a gradient or a step up onto this one. It's 20 past four, a day one, not a slab laid. There's one thing for certain on ground force, whether you go from, I don't know, Hackney to Timbuktu, something never changes. And that is too much work, too late in the evening. <laughs> We shall, yes. Right. Well done, everyone. Thanks for your help. Thank you. Sleep Thank well. You. That's, that's well, early. Probably Sleep not well. very bright. Yeah. Yeah. Bright and early. <laughs> yeah. oh, yeah. early, not bright. No. You're going to contact your mum tonight? Yeah. Yeah? Bye-bye. <laughs> now, don't you tell her that we've been here. Remember, Hello. big surprise. Oh. Okay, good girl. <laughs> You, Not really. <laughs> you just don't want to work with us girls, that's what it is. Right, so should we uh, get back to work then? Allocation of bodies. Mm -hmm. Seems to be shorter on bodies. We're, uh, we're down two bodies. <laughs> We've got two other other uh, people coming this morning. So okay, okay. so unfortunately for you two then, you'll be with Tommy. Well, I said my prayers last night, so. <laughs> Lucky for you, you'll need them today, I'm telling you. Right, come on, let's get to work. All right, tools. Uh, yes, auger. So the instructions there, Kirst. Yeah, they're in the big pack. Okay. Now this is the kicking footballs through. Now what do we think? Um, do we think? <laughs> yes. Okay. Hours of entertainment for the parents as well. So I'm looking at putting this about there, maybe a bit more here, and then we can plant a climber up the edge or in the shrub here. So. It, so it looks fairly nice as well. Now these slabs that I'm laying here, they're, you'll, you'll all have seen them every day of your life. They're bog standard council street paving. And they're not often considered for use in the garden because people consider them to be plain. But I like them because they're rather understated. And what we've done, we've used them, mixed them with these granite sets to form a pattern. And another thing about them, they're very easy to keep clean. Um, and also they've got a, a sort of a non-slip surface, that little pimpled surface to them that helps you from slipping over. And the fact is I guarantee that once you put these, and I lay them on the wet bed as usual, because if you lay them on a sandy bed, then you can get weeds coming through. But once you put these down, you've got a patio for life.
Morning, everybody. Hello. Morning. Lovely have morning. Done, done the school run, have you? I have. Got that over with. <laughs> the sun's out and all's lovely in the garden. Yes, yes. Brilliant this morning. <laughs> Right, these are our trees. We've got a snake butt maple, Oy! which has this very sort of uprighty growth. So I reckon it'll be good coming this way a little. And then we've got a tilia, which is a lime, Henriana. And it's got these beautiful serrated leaves, still heart shaped, but you can always tell a lime tree because the heart shape's lopsided. One side's always higher than the other side. That gets to about 30 foot and quite broad. So we thought here to um, mask the lamppost. Hello. Hello. Hi, Sharon. Hi there. How's things? Are you enjoying it? Yeah, fantastic. Is it? It's a lovely time. Oh, that's good. How's Deborah? She's OK. She's gone off to have a facial at the moment. Oh, look here. Is yeah. everything going all right? Yeah, everything's going fine. So how are you, Sharon? It's Charlie. Oh, hello, Charlie. Hello. <laughs> Uh, going according to plan. Mm, yeah, we might need to, you to, I know your train comes in at quarter to five, but we might need you to faff around a bit. Okay. <laughs> bye, Sharon. Okay, bye, Charlie. Have a good afternoon. Bye. That's one hell of a big pot, isn't it? I know. Kirsty's on the wind-up as well. Oh, I've got a container for the water feature. It's perfect for this job. Just the right size, depth. Perfect. That's about perfect for this That's job. Not. Look at the size of the ball though. Yes, but you could have a nice bit of line around the edge. You wouldn't have to dig a great big hole and then try and suspend an almost half ton rock over the top of it. Finish the hole now. Do you think it's deep enough, Kirst? I think it might be. <laughs> Only Jake. Do the hand to get out. Oh, it's still quite deep though. Hey, look. <laughs> they look groovy, don't they? Yes, they're, they're, they're perfect for the garden, perfect. But Michael's saying that he's a little worried about um, the football, of course, because, what do you call that? Football thing. The football thing. Yeah, they're plastic, though, so it shouldn't be dangerous. They might break, but they shouldn't be dangerous. Very pretty, very, very pretty. Circus canadensis forest pansy. Got beautiful purple red leaves, heart shaped, and it has little pink flowers or magenta flowers in the spring before the leaves come out. It's really nice and it makes quite a broad shape. So uh, that should look quite nice there. It'll make this area quite shady, which will be nice to sit out in sunny, sunny Wakefield, as you can see. Look, beautiful. Well, it's more beautiful that way than it is that way. It looks a bit black that way. Okay, yeah. Hey, it works. We might be changing the pump for a bigger pump, though. <laughs> Taxi. <laughs> There's two hours to go before the train comes in. Nearly three o'clock. Uh, we're going to look back there, yeah. and then I'm going to go like that. Because if they need to get to the pump, yeah. they can roll that back and it all still stays connected. Mm -hmm. Michael, woo! Could you turn the pump on? Because it's very important to check that we're not losing any water. Bam! Splash it all.
I tell you what, Kirsty, Calicarpa, it's just green, it's just boring. You think, mm, why would I want that? And then come the winter, you'll know why, because all the leaves drop off and it just leaves these glorious purple berries that are in clusters all along the stem. And they don't get eaten very readily, so they last a long time. Hello. Is Jack there? Are you going to come in and see the garden then? How are you? Okay. What do you think then? Look, Jack's been stunned into total silence. <laughs> <laughs> He's that overwhelmed. <laughs> and Jack's granddad has arrived too. Hello. Hello, darling. How are you? All right? All the better for seeing you, Oh, man. he's got the chat oh, used to, yeah, I can you tell know. he used to be yeah. a tradesman. You can tell the famous one are you already. <laughs> It's five o'clock, you all cut now. I'm waiting for you to get off your ass still so I can put these down. <laughs> he has a way with words, doesn't he? <laughs> Let me get out. If I go this side, then you can get in there, alright? That's better. Hey, Tommy! This is Malcolm in Pleased to meet you, young man. Hello, Malcolm. Nice to meet you. Are you winning? Well, what do you think? Going on nice. This is the new decking, right? Oh, yeah. It's a mixture of pressure treated timber and natural stone, granite sets. Magic. You have made it so you'll be able to go straight out there, turn right, because that's flat, then it goes slightly uphill on the gradient, then it goes flat again, turn uphill, and then you're on the uh, sun terrace up there. I'm saying that you're doing a fine job, my good friend. Well, thank you very much. It's a pleasure to meet you. I have a lot of respect for Joanne, as I tell you. Carry on, mate. Don't let me stop you. <laughs> right, I'd better go and pick Deborah up then. So she'll... Um, I better get off. You're going to go up in a bit. All right, not before half five. Okay, good. Right, come on, guys, let's get going. It fits like a glove. What was that, Malcolm? I said it fits like a glove on a foot. <laughs> <laughs> what do you reckon? You reckon it looks a bee's knees? Just goes to show you, you know, with something plain there, you can turn to something beautiful. I mean, look at Willie. <laughs> I'm going to tell him. <laughs> I'm trying to. Him. That's tell him. Yeah. But thanks to you up here, Chris, to think the derogated one. Yeah, that would be nice. Quite nice. Yeah. Just pop that up on the sleeper. Yeah, just up there. We'll move them later. It's not funny. It's not funny. Well, we've only got 15 minutes to go. No, it's really not funny. Trez! Yes? Is it possible you can phone Sharon? and ask for another 10 to 15 minutes. 10 to 15 minutes, I'll try that. Give us a new guess. New guess? It's not yeah. funny. <laughs> what happened? It was nobody answering it, it was just saying Vodafone, I've had to leave a message. So basically we don't know. Why don't we just try and get the job done in time and then we ain't got to worry, so we crack on. <laughs>
designed it, designed the garden so that your father can come out in the wheelchair and go up yeah. to the back part of the garden. Oh, lovely. Oh, that's Thank lovely. You. Thank you. The garden, once a no-go area for Deborah's dad Malcolm since his terrible accident at work, is now somewhere the whole family can enjoy. smartly trimmed patio, the raised bed has replaced the unsightly pile of earth. And if they want, the whole gang can party all night here without, of course, disturbing the neighbours, but signing clearly under the lights. <laughs> well, don't you point your finger at me! <laughs> Goodbye! I'm so I'm surprised, Phil. I mean, I've watched you on television before. The big problem is, is Michael has had to lie for almost a year. <laughs> Come up here. Come on, Sharon. Woo! Thank you. I hope you enjoy the garden. Michael's explaining how difficult it has been to not say anything for the last six months. You know. <laughs> and you've been... Lovely. 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 <laughs> and he's been going out and digging a little bit. <laughs> he's been helping, yeah. He was a bit slow yesterday. <laughs> <laughs> oh, shit. I think you look fantastic on television, but even more so, alive. Joy has oh, got the chat. Oh, you're the husband. You know. Yeah. Yeah. You, see why you just with him. You just want that big glass of champagne. That's all it is. <laughs> so I think it's safe to say, from a very happy family up here in, in Wakefield in Yorkshire, and all their friends who've helped to make, I have to say, an exceptionally beautiful garden, and I hope you all get many happy years from it. So till the next time, ground force. Cheers. 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 Go on, Jack. Be the first one to get in. Oh, so close.